Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Hogan's Heroes. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the location where Hogan's Heroes was filmed. Now, if you're a big fan of the show, you will always know that, of course, it took place in Germany in an eternal winter. There was snow all the time, everywhere. But you may be surprised to know where the actual filming location was. Now, of course, for the interior shots, they used another studio completely. I won't be talking about that. I'm more focused on outside, the yard. That is where the barracks were, where the entrance was that would usually open up to let the cars in, to let the generals come in. That's the location I am talking about. Not inside the barracks, not inside the commandant's office, letting you know those are two different locations. So going back to the outside area, this was filmed in Culver City, Los Angeles, California. So the city itself is called Culver City, but it's in the Los Angeles County area. And yes, it was with sunny skies and beautiful conditions that most of the time the show was filmed. And therefore, being filmed in Culver City, it was at Desilu Studios, Culver City, on the 40 acres back lot. Now, that was the same area or as the same back lot where they also filmed other shows like Go More Pile, as well as Andy Griffith's show, The Outside Mayberry set. Yep, it was in that area, also Gone with the Wind, and many, many other shows. Now, I want to show you some aerial photographs so that you can see some comparisons of today versus in the 1960s when they actually had everything. I want to line things up for you. I want to show you how everything is laid out both today and then so that pretty much we can narrow down what happened to the set and what happened to that exact area. I'll also be giving away a Hogan's Heroes Season 2 DVD set. It will be absolutely free to you, no cost to you. Just make sure to watch the entire video and I tell you how you can win. I was able to find this photo. I hope that you enjoy it because you can see the guard tower right on the left hand side and basically the entrance. This is how everything was laid out. These are facades. This is basically what the camera doesn't see and how much space they had behind all of the barracks and so forth. You can see how bare boned it was and it's really cool to see this image. It was hard to find, but I wanted to show it to you. Here we have another viewpoint, which is really cool because you see behind one of the barracks in that area. It's really cool to see. So the guard towers and basically the main gate entrance would not be here. This is where other trucks and other vehicles would come in. They would be on the left side, just off of this photograph but you can see the Commandant's Barracks on the left hand side right behind that branch that you can see that's making its way into the shot. And also that hill, that mountain in the background is the only real mountain in the general vicinity. It's Baldwin Hills today, it was Baldwin Hills then, but basically you can see that in many of the shots of the show and I wanna highlight and point that out to you so that you can see whenever you do see that hill, that's where it is, it is right behind the, the Commandant's office. This is a shot from, of course, the Andy Griffith show behind Don Knotts. You can see that berm, that hill. That is the same area where we have the entrance to the Hogan's Heroes camp. It's on the left side, just away from that building. Remember, the I'll show you a larger picture so that you can see where everything is laid out. But the Mayberry set is just south of the Hogan's Heroes set. You can see very similar telephone poles in the background and that berm that I'm talking to you about basically the previous shot from Barney Fife would be on the right hand side of this photo down that small dirt road. Now I absolutely love this aerial shot because you could see everything within reach. The one that I want to point to is Stalock 13, the Hogan's Heroes set. Notice how you can see the entire camp there surrounded with barbed wire. You can see, of course, the barracks and even the entrance. I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see. And below to the south, as you can see, that's the town of Mayberry. Really, really cool and really interesting to see. It's a bit pixelated, but you can clearly see all of the barracks as I'll point out to you that berm in the background as well as the guard towers and the entrance to the camp. Notice the southeast side where the entrance is. That's where you see all the barbed wire, the fencing. You don't see it on the southwest side because of course the camera's never there. There's even a truck there. You see all of the barracks and there's pretty much no enclosure on the far west side of the camp which is really funny to see. Notice the streets that are on the right hand side of the screen as well as the top side of the screen. We're going to match them up with today's image. 
You can see this is from today, 2020. You can see the exact streets laid out in a very similar fashion with even some of the similar homes on the right hand side. You can even see the street that I was talking to on the north side of the photo. Really cool to see. And if you pinpoint where the actual set was, well then you come out with this area in general. Now the reason I want to show you this picture is so you can clearly see the guards towers as well as the entrance to the camp and the berm on the right hand side. Here's another from 1965, a really great shot with again you can see the fake snow on the roofs of the barracks as well as many other buildings, guard tower, the entrance. It's really, really cool to see, but look on the top side, you can actually see those three homes, and those are off the property. That is not part of Desilu Studios. People actually live there, so that's how close that was to other people's homes. Here's basically a view from the other side where you can see the entrance as well. Look at all the cars parked on the right top side of your screen. It's really cool to see people from the cast and crew parking pretty much right next to the camp. Again, it's really amazing to see how Hollywood makes things that we see on TV seem like a reality. You'll see this shot, which I love. You see the big Baldwin Hills Mountains on top. You see a creek, which is right next to the property of the 40 Acre Studio. And yes, you do see the camp right there. This is a kind of a zoomed in shot. And you can very clearly see the streets. And then I'm gonna line them up to, again, a very recent satellite imagery of the same area. Now I've circled these three homes as well as this area with this brush right on the corner of this intersection. I want to show you how awesome this is. Look at those three homes pretty much in the same spot with that brush area, so amazing. It is a little bit sad guys and gals, there's nothing left, no remnants of 40 acres, no movie sets, no TV sets, nothing like that. It was made way for, you can see a dental lab, other facilities, other manufacturing things that are here, other buildings things but you can see the main foundation of the streets haven't been changed which is really cool so if you find this interesting don't forget to leave a thumbs up guys and gals let me tell you how you can win this dvd in order to win guys and gals all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my rick 9g channel it is absolutely free to subscribe no cost to you just hit that red subscribe button right below this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well to let me know that you enjoyed this video and are participating in this giveaway in the comments down below you must leave a comment to this video letting me know your thoughts about hogan's heroes the show and the location did you think it was that close to any of these buildings? Did you enjoy looking at the aerial shots? Anything in regards to this video is acceptable. And then finally, I have a link in the description. You do have to give me your contact info so that when I do pick you as the winner, when I do pick someone as the winner at random, I'll be able to ship off the DVD to them. So make sure to provide your name, your mailing address, and just your contact info email. We'll see you next time, guys and gals. Good luck on the giveaway, and I'll reveal it in the next Hogan's Heroes video. So don't forget, guys and gals, be hopeful. Thanks as always to all the Patreon supporters, especially the executive producers for this video. Andy B, David D, Ricky, and Joe R. Thank you so much to everyone.